Now we will look into kindness. You and I on people, teachers, parents, our brothers and sisters, neighbors, to be kind to us. What's the meaning of that? Let's talk about it. I must be kind. So, today we are talking about we, you boy and girl, you and I, we are trying to be kind. In this world, we need to be kind. I must be kind. And to all, where all, when, where, when are we going to be kind? To whom are we going to be kind? How are we going to be kind? Let's look at it. I must be kind. Kindness is always rewarded. When you are kind, you are showing what kind of person you are. Are you a good little girl? Are you a good little boy? Kind. Now, we need to feel kindness done by others. Then we must also be kind. And that's what we are doing. Now, I will tell you a story about when we talk about kindness. It doesn't need to be a big person, big teacher, mummy, anyone small, even you are small boy and girl, you also can be kind. Now, I will tell you a story about a little girl named Thumbelina. The name suggests thumb, as small as your thumb. There was a little girl. There was a mother and father who had no children. So they went to a good fairy and good fairy gave them a pot. When they took the pot home and kept it on the table, there was a tiny little voice coming out of the pot. And there, when the lady looked into the flower, there was a tiny flower and in that flower, there was a thumb size baby girl. So she named the little baby Thumbelina. Thumbelina was so tiny, but the tiny little girl, she had so much of kindness in her. Now this Thumbelina was so small, mother kept her by the window in a walnut shell. And the window is definitely not a safe place to lie down. When mother was busy in the kitchen, insects, bird, frogs used to come. One day, a frog saw the little girl and he fell in love. He said, wow, beautiful girl, I will have this Thumbelina for my son. And what did he do? He took the walnut shell into the place where he, where does he live? He lives in a pond. Now, in the pond, there were a lot of lily leaves. He kept her Thumbelina on the lily leaves. She started crying, sitting on the lily leaf. And a little fish came. What is your problem? Thumbelina, why do you cry? Now, Thumbelina said, I want to go home. Toad wants me to marry the, her son. Oh, don't cry. Now, Thumbelina received kindness. The fishes were kind to her. She said, shh, don't worry. They cut off the lily pad. And the lily leaf, what happened to the lily leaf? Floated away. A little butterfly came there. What happened to you, Thumbelina? Oh, the little, the toad wants me to marry his son. I don't want. Started crying. And fish helped me. And I am floating. My leaf is floating. So the butterfly was again kind to Thumbelina and said, don't worry. He, the butterfly picked her up and put her on the land. When she landed on the shore of the pond, a mouse came there. A mouse, field mouse saw her. Thumbelina, oh you look so pretty, come home. So she went to the wind in with the little field mouse. Field mouse had a house down in the tunnel. As she entered, she found a little bird. It was winter time. And the little bird was cold and almost dead. Thumbelina said, wow, so sad. She took the bird, 
took care of the bird right through the cold days and warmed it up and one fine day the bird could fly. Before flying away, the little birdie said, Thumbelina, you have been so kind to me. I will come back and help you one day. Every day Thumbelina stood and looked into the sky and she found birds flying by. One fine day, the field mouse said, Thumbelina, you must marry my son. She was very sad. She came out of the tree hole, looked up in the sky and waved. And there was the little birdie that she was kind to. The bird quickly flew down, picked up Tablina and said, Come, sit on my back. I will take you to a place where there are beautiful flowers. And there are little people like you. And so Tablina lands on a flower. And there was a prince in the tiny little flower. She married the tiny prince and lived happily ever after. Now, Thumbelina, she was kind to the little bird. The butterfly was kind to her. The fishes were kind to her. When you are kind, the kindness gets returned. So what good do you do? Good comes back to you. You are kind to someone, the kindness comes back to you. Let us learn from Thumbelina story to be kind. Because she was kind to the little birdie, her life was saved. I must be kind to my parents first. Yes, I live with my parents. They take care of me. They love me. They do everything. They scold me too. But then I must say, they love me. They want me to be good. They want me to grow to be a kind little girl or boy. So I must be kind. To my parents. Not one day be kind. You must be kind every day. Every day mommy will say, look, you didn't do this. You'd... She's telling you so that she can make you into a lovely little girl or boy. So, you must say to yourself, I must love, I must be kind to my parents every day day and night. Kindness. She works hard for you. She does everything for you. Daddy works hard for you. He does buy lots of things for you. So it is your duty to be kind to your parent. The first most important duty of children is to be kind to our parents. I must be kind to my brothers and sisters at home. Kindness begins at home. So I must be kind to my sister and brother at home. You have a sister, you have a brother. So you must be kind to your brother and sister at home. The first lesson of kindness learned in our own little home with our parents with our grandparents, with our brothers and sisters. So, whatever, even if they are not, I don't like my sister. Even then, you must say, I must be kind. I will practice kindness. Where? To my parents. I will practice kindness to my brother and my sister in my house. From there, you are going to school. The teacher, the teacher is not going to say, come little darling, sit on my lap. The teacher will say, you have to do this, you have to do that. You have to write this lesson, you have to rub this off. You have to rewrite that sum. So, I must be kind to all my teachers at school. Okay? So, I am cultivating kindness. So, I must be kind to whom? To all my teachers at school. So, they are helping me. Teachers, at school, at home you have parents, grandparents, brother, sister to be kind to. At school, all the teachers are building you up, helping you, shaping you to be reaching the next class, helping you to go to the next class. So, there are a lot of learned things to learn, there are a lot of things to redo, 
So, you must be kind to them because, because they are helping you to become a lovely little girl. I must be kind at home to my parents, to my brother and sisters, at school. I must be kind to all my teachers who support me in my learning. Then, I must be kind to all my classmates, this classmate, that in the next class. Lots of friends are there in the school. I must be kind to all my friends and classmates. You have friends in your class and you have friends in other classes. Okay. Now, there are a lot of friends in school, small friends, big friends, your own class, the next class. So, I must be kind to all my friends and classmates in the school. Very important. Okay? Then you are practicing kindness. Elders, I must be kind to. Who are the elders? You have aunts and uncles, your grandparents, neighbors, anyone older than you. I must be kind to all the elders. I must be kind to all the elders. And parents, elders mean my neighbors, aunt, anybody. Okay? So, I must be kind at home to my parents, mom and dad. I must be kind to my brother and sister in my house or little brother and sister. Help mommy to look after the little brother and sister. I must be kind to all my teachers who are helping me in my learning. I must be kind to all my friends and other classmates who are helping me, who love me, who play with me, who spend a lot of time with me. I must be kind to all the elders at home, to buy in my neighborhood. Then, I must be kind. I must show kindness to the poor and needy less fortunate one. Cultivating kindness for the poor is a very good habit. You are, your feelings are going out to someone who has something less than you and God will bless us. So, I must be kind. You are becoming a good girl now, good boy now. I must be kind to the poor. To the poor, who are the poor? Who are, to the poor and needy, those who need something, to the poor and the needy. Someone who hasn't got what you have, someone who is asking for something, help them, be kind, cultivate the feeling of kindness for the less fortunate ones. Next one, I must be kind. To those people who need my help, maybe in the class, your friend needs, she needs your book or she needs to do a project. You need to be kind, spend time and help her, give your ideas, help her to go through the project correctly. So, I must be kind to those people who need my help. I must be kind to those people who need my help. Who are those kind of people who need my help? Sometimes, mommy will say, I need your help to take care of the little baby sister or baby brother. So, you must be kind to mommy and say, yes, I will take care for some time till mommy is free. Or the neighbor says, Please sit in my house, I will go down, get something for somebody elderly in that home. Helping someone in whatever way you can. I must be kind to those people who need my help. Then, I must be kind to the animals and my pets. What about your pets? You have pets? Yes, showing kindness. They spend time with you. So, I must be kind to my pets, to my pets, to other animals. Any animal, you must be kind to them. Not throw stone or beat them up. Kindness to animals. 
especially your friend, your pet spends lot of time with you. So kindness to your, what about your neighbors? I think we'll add it here. I must be kind to the elders and neighbors. Kindness. Then I must be kind to myself. Yes, you must show kindness to yourself so that you can be kind to those who need you. So the most important thing is I must be kind to myself. Mustn't hurt yourself. Love yourself. Be kind to yourself so that you can help others. I must be kind to myself so that I can be kind to others. So that I can be kind to others. Only when you are kind to yourself can you be kind to others. What are we talking about? Kindness. In the story of Thambalina, she received kindness from a fish, from a butterfly. She received kindness and she gave kindness. She was very kind and gentle and caring towards the little birdie that needed her help. And she gave kindness. She received kindness. Now here what you are trying to do? You are trying to be a very pleasant little boy or a girl. Practicing kindness. So you are telling yourself, I must be kind to my mom and dad at home. I must help my mom and dad in taking care, looking after someone, doing little errands for them. So I must be kind to my parents at home. That's my first important duty. I must be kind to my big brother, big sister, small brother, small sister, showing kindness. Sometimes mommy will ask for help to taking care of little babies. Now, I must be kind to all my teachers at school. They are helping me to become someone. I must be kind to all my friends and classmates. I am learning together, spending a lot of time at school, sharing things. So, showing kindness. Maybe sometime they may want some project to do. They may want your book. They may want to share your food. Be kind. I must be kind to all the elders at home. Grandparents. Elders, aunts and uncles. Neighbors. Friends. So, I must cultivate kindness to the neighbors, to the elders, to my grandpa and grandma. And the other people who come home. I must be kind to the poor and the needy. Those people who don't look nice, who are dirty, handicapped. I must be kind to them. I must be kind to the people who need my help. Any kind of it. It may be money, it may be time. The neighbor might say, please stay in my house a little while. I'll just go down the road and come. So, People who need my help, I must be kind. I must be kind to the pets that I keep at home and all other animals that I meet. I must be kind to them. I must be kind to myself so that I can be kind to others. So you must be kind and gentle with yourself, not rough and get angry with yourself. So I must cultivate kindness so that I can be kind to others. Let us look at all the sounds that have come up in these sentences. I sound is E, N, B, and K sound. Then you have your T sound, M, P sound, T sound, M sound, B sound, A. Then you have T sound, A sound, M, T again, A, and S, T, A. Mm. Then you have a sound here and k again. Then here you have t sound, a, t again, e. Then you have n, mm. t sound, p sound, a, t, n. Mm. Then you have 
then you have t sound here, p sound here, w, then n, m, and h sound. T, p, a, then you have t, m, s, t, i, k, b, k, t, and o sound. We'll read it together. We are trying to cultivate. Kindness, receive kindness and give kindness. Now, I must be kind. I must be kind to myself so that I can kind, show kindness to others. So, I must be kind to my parents first at home, to my mom and dad. I must be kind to my brothers and sisters at home. I must practice kindness at home first. I must be kind to all my teachers at school. They are helping me every day and out. I must be kind to my friends in the class, classmates of other classes. I must be kind to them, share things with them, my books, ideas, time. I must be kind to all the elders at home, grandparents, aunts and uncles, neighbors, any help they need. I must support them. I must be kind to the poor and the needy who don't look nice, who smell, who don't have what we have. I must show kindness by sharing time, giving some, some things. I must be kind to those people who need my help, my time, maybe some money, some things I don't use. I can give someone that will be of good use. I must be kind to my pet and all the animals. I must show kindness to them. I must not be rude to them. So above all, I am trying to be a kind little boy or girl. So what I do? I must be kind to myself so that I can be kind to others. Kindness. When I am kind to someone, the kindness comes back to me. This world is round. What you give will come back to you. And that is what we are talking about. We did, I must be kind. Now we are going to do, I like to be kind. So you must like, you must want to be kind, to do be kind to someone. Okay. So what we are going to do now, I like. I am not being told, but I am doing it myself. I like to be kind. I am being kind, I want to do, be kind to someone, because I like to do. Huh? I like to be, I like to be kind because I feel good. When are you kind to someone? I said, first you have to be kind to yourself so that you can be kind to others. Here you are telling yourself, I like to be kind. Huh? I like to be kind because I feel good. Mom and dad, teachers and friends can't force you to be kind to others. It has to come from within. Remember, we are cultivating kindness. We are cultivating kindness that will become part of you easily. So it cannot be forced. It has to come from within. That's why we discuss, I cultivate kindness when I must be kind when I, I first to myself and then only I can help others. To be. Now here I am telling I like to be kind because I feel good doing, being kind to someone, helping someone. I am feeling good, therefore I do it. So freely, willingly you are cultivating kindness. I feel I like to be kind because I feel good. Then, I like to be kind because I love and care for people. You see, it has to come from within you. I like to be kind because I love and care and care. 
must love and you must care for people. Only when you have love and you have care, caring thoughts within you, can you be kind to others. Simply, everyone cannot be kind. That is why we say, we must cultivate the good habit of kindness. So, I like to be kind because I am feeling good within me. I like to be kind because I love and care for the people. When I say people here, first people in my house, mom and dad, brothers and sisters, grandparents, uncles and aunts, neighbors and so on. So, I must, I like to be kind because I love and care. for The people who love me, care for me. I like to be kind to the people I meet. And all this is done willingly. I like to be kind to all the people. I like to be kind to all the people I meet. Now when you say meet, where? At home. Friends will, mummies and daddies, friends will come home or neighbors. We meet them at the churchyard, at the temple, at the marketplace, at the theater, when you go for a birthday function. So, I like to be kind to all the people that I meet at various situations. You go for a birthday party, you go for a wedding, you go for uh, uh, anything that outside in the school. When you have a sports day, when you have a carnival, you are meeting friends and other friends. So, I must, I like to be kind to all the people I meet in these situations. I like to be kind to the people who come home. I like to be kind to all the people who come home. Home, or who drop in home, who come home. Who are the people who come home? They will be mommy's friend, daddy's friend, your brother's friend, your sister's friend, your somebody known to uncle, grandparents, their someone. Okay? So, all the people who come home, I must, I like to be kind. I like to be kind because I feel happy. I feel very happy being kind to others. I like to be kind because I feel happy doing so. Happy doing so. I like to be kind to people. Why I do it? I am feeling. I am feeling good. I am feeling happy. I am not being forced. I do it because I feel happy. I feel good. I feel I must do it. I like to be kind because kindness brings back kindness. I like to be kind because kindness gets back kindness. Whatever you do, it comes back to you. If you are rude, it will come back. If you are good, it will come back. So, kindness. When you are kind to others, like Thambalina, she was kind, she got back kindness. Whatever you do, world is round. So, if you are what you do, what you give, you get back. You are kind, kindness will come back to you. So, I like to be kind to all the disabled people. See, we are normal. Eyes, ears, hands, like you can stand, walk and talk. But there are other people, there are other little children who have no leg or hands or no parents, so many things. So, we have lots to thank God for. So, I like to be kind to all the people who are disabled, less fortunate ones. I like to be kind to all Disabled, all the disabled children 
Okay. Some people, children who cannot talk, some can't walk, some have no parents, lots of disabilities, some are blind, some can't hear. So, I like to be kind to all these people, because I also want to be return, receive kindness. When you are kind, what about the people who work for you in the house, the maids who come home, what must you do with them? I like to be kind to, to those who work at home. I like to be kind to those who work at home, helping mommy, helping daddy. I must be kind to them. Let's Look at all the sounds here. Okay, now I said I sound is E, L, T, B, and K. Then you have B again, E, you have F, G, B, you sound again, L, A, K, and P sound. T sound here, A, again T, P, E, M. T sound, A, T, P, W, K sound and H sound. B, E, H, D, S, B sound. K sound again here, G, 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 B and K sound here, here T, A, T sound again, D, then you have T, again T, W, W again, A and H sound. Let us go through it. What are we looking at? Kindness. You like to be, I like to be kind. It must come from within. The quality of kindness should come from within. It must be easy to do, not forced upon you. So, you are telling yourself, I like to be kind because I feel good being kind to someone. I like to be kind because I love and care for those people whom I am trying to be kind. I like to be kind to all the people I meet. They may not look good or they may smell, they may be disabled, but I like to be kind to all these people. I like to be kind to all the people who come home, dad's friend, mommy's friend, grandparents' friend, anyone. I like to be kind because I feel happy doing so. I am not forced. It is coming easy to me. I am not forced. I like to be kind because I feel happy being kind to someone. I like to be kind because kindness gets back kindness. I know if I am good, good will come back to me. So, I must be kind. And I know the world is round. I like to be kind to all the disabled people who cannot help themselves. I like to be kind to all those who work at home. I like to be kind to them. So, what are we trying to do? Cultivating kindness in us. That comes easily, not forced upon. You are doing it lovingly so that you grow to be a kind little boy or girl.